Hey guys, and welcome back to the Randomized K on Pokemon Team Series. Time to wrap up Gen 4 with Sabachan. Sabako's first Pokemon will be... Flareon. That's a strong start. Flareon is a very good evolution to have. It might not be the best of all of them, but it is by no means bad. It hits stupid hard and has very respectable special stats. For abilities, I think Guts is better because, aside from double battles, who would realistically use a fire move on a fire type? For level up moves, I'm curious as to why they made Flareon unable to learn Flamethrower naturally after Gen 3. Sure, Lava Plume is only slightly weaker, but you have to wait a long time for it. For TMs, it's not great. But at least Dig will help with rock types. So, still very good. Flareon's not technically a glass cannon since its special defense is very good, but it does still lack a bit of bulk, so you'll definitely want to try outcoming opponents as much as possible. Sabako's second Pokemon will be... Azelf. Nice, Sabako gets a legendary, and a pretty decent one in Azelf. Out of the three Lake Guardians, it's hard for me to tell which is best. Looking at Azelf's stats, it's clearly meant to be a fast mixed attacker. Hits hard and fast before the opponents can. For abilities, it only gets Levitate in Gen 4, which is still okay. It's immune to entry hazards, and ground moves can't touch it. For level up moves, it doesn't look very good. For a legendary, this is pretty subpar. For TMs, it's a lot better. There are quite a few options here. So, a great addition. Azov seems a pretty solid legendary to have. It doesn't look like it takes hits too well, but it hits so hard and fast that that may not be too big an issue. Sabako's third Pokemon will be... Perugly. That's a bit of a drop. I haven't heard too many positive things about Perugly, and it's not exactly the best looking Pokemon ever. It has very good speed, which if it was in Gen 1, means it would crit quite often. For abilities, they do all have their uses, so I can't really say which I think is best. For level up moves, Slash and Body Slam are its best stab moves, and Faint Attack gives some coverage against ghost types and would help counter evasion boosts. For TMs, it's not as impressive as some other normal types, but there is some decent coverage here. So, an okay Pokemon to have. I imagine the one used by Mars in the Sinnoh games has caused people trouble, so it's not a weak Pokemon, but it's not exactly something to be scared of. Salako's fourth Pokemon will be... Mesprit. Fancy that, another Lake Guardian. Looking at Mesprit, I kinda get some Knuckles vibes because of those tendril things on its head. That has no relevance whatsoever, but I thought I'd just mention it. Its stats favor both attack and defense, so I would assume that would make it a pretty effective battler. For abilities, exactly the same as Azelf, so I have nothing to say about it. For level up moves, it's mostly similar to Azelf with only a couple of differences. For TMs, it seems to have more or less the same kind of coverage as Azelf with some differences. So, very similar to Pokemon number 2. I'm guessing they made the Lake Guardian trio very similar to each other, only really changing their stats and move choices. So I guess it's a case of, they each have their own strengths. Salako's fifth Pokemon will be... Gliscor. Not bad at all. Salako gets one of MJTB's favorite Pokemon. Since I only have the one Sinnoh game at the moment, I have no experience with Gliscor. But I have heard a lot of positive things about it. Its defense is ridiculous, and its attack and speed are very respectable. It may not hit like a truck, but its attacks won't exactly tickle either. For abilities, I think Poison Hill would be the most useful since you can use a Toxic Orb to trigger it. Which means not only will Glasgow be healing itself, it will be immune to most other status conditions. For level up moves, while it gets no attacking stab moves, the coverage it gets naturally does make up for that. For TMs, it's not the most impressive ever, although getting stab aerial ace and earthquake is very good. So a very strong Pokemon overall, and its pretty fierce appearance does match Sawako's Death Devil persona pretty well. Or at least I think so. And Sawako's last Pokemon will be... Yuxi. What are the odds of that? Azelf, Mesprit, and Yuxi. Sabako gets all three Lake Guardians. Half her team is legendaries. I don't know if this makes her team as bonkers as Ritsu's Gen 3 team, but how lucky is this? 
Of the three Lake Guardians, Yuxi is the more defensive member, so I would assume it'd be used in similar roles to Umbreon. For abilities, it's Levitate. All three of them get it. Moving on. For level up moves, less actual attacks, thus supporting my theory that it's more of a support Pokemon. For TMs, it does have some nice coverage, but it lacks the attacking stats to really make use of them. So, a very interesting end to the team. It won't be taking much down compared to its comrades, but Yuxi can still find uses in other ways. And that's it for Sawako's Gen 4 team. I cannot believe how lucky she got getting three fucking legendaries. This has to be the most insane Gen 4 team. I think she'd be able to do pretty well with just them. As always, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Feel free to come join me on Discord. Consider backing me on Patreon. And remember to stay chilled.